Hey guys, I'm Daniel on occasion, and today, more Oleg the Ever Chosen campaign. And we're kind of declaring war on everyone. I'm just fighting everything now. Like, who cares? Let's just go nuts. Um, <laughs> this is supposed to be a very concise campaign. But actually, I'm kind of enjoying just running off in a million different directions and fighting every faction. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to collect all the vassals. We're going to make every single faction a vassal of ours. I'm also going to build a tower there. I don't know why. I saw I could build it, and I'm doing it. I'm a madman. So, um, actually, I think that's all we can build, isn't it? Just because everything... Oh, no, no. We can upgrade our port, which will put up growth, which is fine, I guess. You know, I do want to get this to tier 4 at some point, so why not, right? Why not? So, uh, I may declare war on this guy as well. Echogax is chilling. Good for you, mate. Um, and yeah, we're going to carry on fighting these guys. We do have uh, Village dealing with some of these guys too. Ideally, I want that to be Grayling, though. Cheeky little sod. Um, let's... Hmm. You know what? I'm happy with the two armies we've got for now. We'll try and get a third army soon. Soonish. Alright, we'll be able to get a bunch more territory fairly quickly. Get a bunch more income from them. I think, yeah, I think we'll be, um... I think we're going at a pretty good pace. We'll just we'll just take over more territory. Alright, more battles, more building. Get our income up. When we get about 10,000, we'll get another army. Uh, yeah, Black Gold's got taken. So we have lost our outpost with the Skaven, which is a pity. Um, Excellent. God, they've got two armies Acceptable. here. Another one up there and another one here. Okay, yeah, Boris is actually pretty bloody strong, actually. He seems to have really gone a bit mad. Oh, and check that out. <laughs> we got the Drowner up here. I didn't know they were up here somewhere. That's cool. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Um... And yeah, Loki is here. I think we need to fight Loki. You know? Because he has a fell heart, and we can't have that. No. No, no, only good boys. Can only have good boys. Uh, if I declare war on him now... Oh my god, the amount of dark shards. You know what? This army could actually... Uh, if if Loki was real clever, um, he could really, like, do great with this. With this army. The amount of armor-piercing missiles that he could ascend into all my expensive boys. Unfortunately, I do have four knights and uh, three other very fast units that can get into all kinds of scrapes with uh, with these guys. Ignore their front line entirely and just wipe out the dark shards. So, you know, good luck to him. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to play more him. Alright, we're doing all the wars. Yeah, everyone's coming. Nice. He's probably going to get wiped out, poor guy. Poor little fella. Right, now let's have a look. Uh, do I also want to declare war on Boris? Perhaps. Do I want to declare war on these jerks? I mean, he did tell me to slaughter the sheep, and he looks pretty sheepish to me, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm using his words against him. Uh, let's get you Deadly Blade, I guess. Sure. You're a corn boy, so big, big melee attack, right? Big melee attack. I really need to upgrade these boys. Can I get better, boys? Marauder of Slanesh. Why do I want a Marauder of Slanesh? That's silly. You're silly. Alright, come here, you. We're going to war with the Zazel as well. We're doing all the wars. Our uh, reliability just vanished. That's fine. We don't have to be reliable. Alright, don't want to fight this just for the sake of it. We probably don't need to. That'll sort of resolve. We'll fight the Zazel, though. He's going to show up in a minute. So, I can either occupy or raise. We're going to occupy it. Because we're going to give it to the Skaven. All right, we're going to sell it to him. Yeah, I have many luck secrets. So, Kazad at Grontunt. Yes, yes. Can you give me some favour? Good. All right, there you go, mate. There you go. Let the slaughter Enjoy. Uh, slaughter Lord Boon. Awesome. And Uzul has his path to glory of uh, Tzinch Unlocked. And all the others. And Metal. Actually, that's interesting. Oh, we could be a Tzinch Metal Caster, so we can stay with Metal. That's really nice. I like that. Uh, we also have our Eldritch Aura now, which is very cool. That Missile and Spell Resistance. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's fun. Unmoving Mage. Spell Slinger. Or Warrior Wizard. 
I don't know. What mounts will he have as a siege caster? I'm not sure. We'll find out before we... I mean, we're going to have to repick anyway, aren't we? It's okay. More spells. And uh, we'll have Searing Doom on quicker cooldown. Oh, and actually, is that useful? Bit of equipment. Rod of Torment. Has Rod of Torment, which is a Bombard spell. Interesting. I'm not sure I came across this item before. That's cool. I think it's given the Rod of Torment. Alright, Uzul is getting pretty cool. First for battle. Uh, we have a very powerful spellcaster in our corn army. I know, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, now let's go with Chaos Vanguard and Root Marcher. Alright, Varus is humongous. Let's get you a uh, Deadly Blade. Ha, the and Jaeger can get Deadly Blade. Okay, good. Lord of uh, still not high enough rank on anyone. Oh, although actually, our Chaos Trolls you're an armoured. That's good news. There we go. Got armoured trolls now. Much better. Much better. Armour on stuff that regenerates is very handy. Very handy indeed. Okay. Is that is that everything? Have we upset everyone yet? I think we have. Oh, we haven't upset these guys yet. It's only a matter of time before they declare war on me, though. Um... They do like that I broke some treaties with the Ecstatic Legions, though. And the Brennus. Brennans? What are they called? Brennans. The Brennans. Alright. Building upgrade available? Oh, good. We can actually upgrade our main settlement. Cool. I like it. Which we still need to rename. We still have one quest battle to do as well. Do I want to go do that now? <laughs> Should I do that now? I mean, we've got to deal with these guys, right? All right, we'll wait a bit for the last quest battle. Hey, Kairos. Uh, he wants a non-aggression pact. No, no, no one will be spared my wrath. Well, yeah, the Skaven are getting absolutely wiped out. And yeah, he's headed up for their last territories up here. So we're going to declare war on him. We're going to have to fight Azazel, come down to here, and then just camp out and fight off Azazel's men and... Bonus's men over and over and over again. It's going to get crazy. Which is sort of perfect, the fact that this guy is going to be in the middle of the mountains, where, like, surrounded in enemies, and all of the enemies are going to be charging in. I think that is, like, the perfect... Aw, poor fella. Uh, I think that's, like, the perfect, like, corn move to do, you know? we got our corn army in there, and they are furious. It's great. Alright, come on, boys. Come, come and die. I could just auto-resolve this. That's how easy it's going to be. Uh, we're going to fight it, though. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's so many Dark Elves. And they're so edgy. Let's get them. Okay. So. Here's the Earth. No. Who remembers that? Who remembers the... the was it History of the World? Some web cartoon. Like, pre... Free, um, YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I was like Newgrounds. I know, I'm well old. And you can sit outside of that. Put the halberds, the Chaos and Warriors with halberds on the outside. So have our more expensive ones slightly in from them. Uh, Harold Hammerstorm is going to back up his chosen boys. So are the aspiring champions. Alright, it's gonna be a big, scary Oh actually this is just Chaos Warriors, so yeah, they need they need a bit of punch in the middle. And we have this guy, who I can only assume is dead. <laughs> like just that strikes me as like the most vulnerable thing against Dark Elves, you know? Like how the hell are we gonna are We gonna stop him? I have no idea. And uh, that's chosen as well, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, I'll get some overlap. So this is a uh, pretty terrifying army. Pretty, pretty terrifying. Alright, we're going to get all of our cavalry in through here. We're going to try and use my, our momentum to just push through. Um, so they've got spellcasters up in the sky. I mean, on a manticore as well. Loads of chariots, which normally I'd say is a bit dangerous, but we've got quite a lot of stuff with a lot of mass. And even our infantry has a lot of mass, honestly. And so cool. Love the little 
chaos portal behind us. Oh, and there's and there's something over there too. Okay, I think that's just some shinies out of a cave. Oh, it's a little skull cave. Ah, oh, skull cave. That's some terrain I really want to make. I really want to make a skull cave. Or a cave. Steady caves. I've made any caves. I need caves. And a monolith. I've not really made a monolith either. I'd love a good monolith. And I'd call that a monolith. You know? So, I mean, sure, it's just a big rock, but... It's the monolith, isn't it? Alright, how much longer? 22 seconds. They're definitely getting in before we get anywhere near them. It, it takes so long. It takes so, so long to move across the map with Chosen. Gives a lot of time to check out the local monoliths. So, you know, who's the... Who's all complaining? I'm not complaining. Love me some of the local flavor. What are you doing running off already? That, what? What are you all doing out of formation? Just ignoring the entire point. All right, fine, go kill her. This is just shocking. The timing here just sucks. <laughs> Ah, we've got a barrier, we're fine. And yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, Alright, you need to run in, mate. You need to run right in. Alright, you're the new group. Alright, go kill her. Perfect. Alright, now who am I hitting? Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, where is he? Let's get one of these out. Somewhere. Really not sure where to put it. Alright, that'll do, I guess. Alright, how are you lot doing? Doing great. You're doing great. I mean, Dread Spears, sure, but I mean... Oh, he killed their lord. That's hilarious. They did not last. And that's been pretty fun, too. Alright, Archeon's having a good time. Let's just keep throwing spells. And yeah, we're taking big damage here. Taking big damage. Alright, keep blasting stuff. Alright, you pull back that way. Chase down whoever. Uh, Loki is over here. About to get slaughtered, probably. Are these chosen? Those are Chaos Warriors. Alright, we're about to get through them. Uh, we still haven't really taken any damage to our cavalry. Which is nice to see. I mean, you've lost your barrier, but... That's not so bad. <laughs> oh my god, there's all the Chaos Warriors in here. These poor little sods. Alright, come on, let's mess him up. Alright, pin him down. He's fighting Chosen. Oh no, he's not! He got up! He got up! That lucky sod. That lucky, lucky sod. He didn't realize how how close he was to death there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, lad. Have it. Oh, I knew not can run over here. Good. Alright, how are we doing? Oh, Loki is getting absolutely wrecked. Oh my god, look at the backup. <laughs> yeah, backup's coming, mate. Backup's coming. Absolute slaughter. And let's get some more cavalry in here, yeah? Let's get our cavalry in the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on block him. Block him. Hilarious. Oh yeah, good luck, buddy. Good luck, buddy. Spirit Leech, your soul is mine. Give me, give me your soul. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Close victory. Nailed it, guys. Nailed it. Didn't we? Didn't we, fellas? Huh? Didn't we? I've got to say, like, Total War is, is kind of astounding. Just in terms of, like, 
as a, as a technological marvel. The fact that they can have so many troops with this high fidelity, all just squashed in together, running around, you know, all animated. 60 FPS, scary, scary. Just love it. You know, much higher fidelity than most of the models that these were based on, which I find is quite amusing. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. We did terribly. We lost 21 men. Oh, I know. I'll do better next time. I'm so sorry. Um, so, Corn's going to be happy. <laughs> the Chaos Knights and Corn and Lances, because they basically never stopped moving, they got 316 kills. Unbelievable. That's a lot of skulls. Corn is going to be real happy. All right, let's sacrifice the captives. We've got loads of souls to spend. Loads of favor. And we're going to get a fun little um, bonus as well. Which we'll see on the next turn, I guess. Okay, an ecstatic legions. <laughs> They're coming for us. Everyone's coming for us. Except Boris, technically. We will need to declare war on Boris. The eye opens. Awesome. Love it when eyes are open or something. Uh, your actions have drawn the attention of the Chaos Guards. Though they are fickle, you can perhaps direct their attention to a particular area. However, there is a price to be paid. We get rampant regeneration. Wow, it puts up healing cap. Gives everyone regeneration. Ed gives us huge casualty replenishment rate. That is insane for five turns. I love that. Uh, huge experience gains for characters. Um, gifts of chaos activation cost is way down. Eh. And dark dominion. Request army cost down by 100%. War coordination target cost down by 100%. Allied recruitment cost down by 100%. Which means we can recruit all the allies we want for free. We can take command of any allied armies for free. That would be kind of awesome, just to take control of all of our vassals. That's a really interesting mechanic, actually. But it also sounds like we'd have to do a lot more work. So as awesome as that is, we don't require that level of um, uh, sort of... Uh, Cooperation, I guess. We don't need that level of, you know, micromanaging for our allies. I'm happy with them just to run around and attack stuff at random. Um, I think that's fine. But that is a very cool mechanic. I think this is really interesting. And I think it would be nice if there was a way to basically get this uh, as a result of spending your, your gifts. Just to basically go, no, no, I have dominion over all of my vassals. I get to coordinate a war on a, you know, end times level scale. I think that'd be really good. I think that'd be really unique. The idea of commanding, and like you know, allied armies is just a cool thing, and I never do it because it never seems affordable. You know, the the mechanics for that are hidden in menus upon menus. It's just it's a whole thing. I just never do it. So um, yeah, it would be cool if it was a more of a more of an intentioned thing. Um, I think the regeneration is just revolting. I love it. So we're gonna go with that. My legions. So everyone's gonna get disgusting amounts of health back, and we defeated Loki of Elhart, so we're immune to Storm and Reef Attrition. That was the bonus. Not that great, but, you know, you never know. We may end up using it when we're crossing the Sea of Claws. I don't know. Uh, you'd better make sure to kill him, or this will not be the end of the matter. Not even close. And we're also a kidnapper. Hilarious. And a zealot. Actually, we just have a zealot. That's different. Alright, let's get him. Come on, boys. I'll level up later. <laughs> oh, no! Oh no, they all died. Aww. Poor babies. Alright, monolith of Harold Wireless. The inventor of the wireless, don't you know? Uh, gift of vassal. Excellent. My vassals grow stronger. Which means tribute is fatter. Love love a big fat tribute. Um, okay, where next? Because I kind of want to go up here to help get this stuff. Um... Oh my god, they have one settlement left. All I offer they melted, huh? Agony. They just got completely wrecked. Uh, which is annoying. Village is probably just going to wipe them out. And I would quite like to have a vassal. Uh, yeah, I would quite like to make them another vassal of mine. 
So I think what I'm going to have to do is tell him to defend the foul... Nope, I can't. No, defend something. I can only tell him to defend my territory, which is a bit weird. I guess it makes sense. It's just, um, just a bit of a pain, is all. Uh, okay, yeah, you want to go that way. Fine. Let's head over here. We're going to grab that, grab that. And now he needs to level you up. Uh, Lord of the End Times. I feel like he has earned that moniker now. You know what? Not yet. We haven't got... So, where is Archaon proved himself to all of the Chaos Gods? We've definitely done that, but we're... We're subjugating all of the Chaos Gods' armies. Which is, um, just cooler, frankly. Let's get Burning Head. It'd be nice to have that, finally. Flaming Sword of Ruin is pretty cool. In that it does boost damage. Which I like. So there we go. We're going with some magic for Oleg today. You know, he never used to be able to cast magic. So, you know, good for him. Good for him. I like to think that he ate the hags. And their power became his. That's how that works, right? Uh, Teacher's Firestorm. I mean, that would have probably been cooler in that last battle. Just, you know, a bunch of vortexes flying off in different directions. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, what is next? I feel like Arkel Oleg isn't going to have a lot of battles for a while. Oh no, oh war, whoops. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Ivan Gaevich, didn't we, didn't we have one of him? Didn't we have one of him? Just the one. Uh, okay, so we're going to go deal with these guys. Alright, do I want to go right at him? I can probably... I can probably reach him fine next turn. God, he's looking a bit... He's looking a bit rubbish, isn't he? Now, let's see. Can I get... I can't get more allied... Can't get more allied uh, warriors of corn, sadly. So these guys... I, you can. You can upgrade allied units. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That is nice. It's very nice. Oh, you know what? Oleg can do another quest battle. He will be able to do another quest battle. So we can move. We'll be able to get a monolith of Hargra next turn, and we can do a quest battle. So we'll, we'll move, do the quest battle, and the turn after that we'll take the monolith of Hargra's run. Cool. Beast Flyer Lodge here might get attacked uh, by these jerks. These guys love us. You know, Scarbrand loves us, he idolizes us, he thinks we're so cool for killing Archaon and stealing his hat. He loves us, he thinks we're the coolest. Unfortunately, we're going to beat him up soon. Uh, Uzu. So let's see, uh, we have we have 3,000, so we can actually afford this quite well. I think we are going to follow um, Lord of Metal, but, but as a devotee to uh, Zinch. I think we're going to do that. I reap my rewards. And now we need to level him up again. Searing Doom. Metal shifting. Was metal shifting have extra damage? It is extra damage, yeah. Um, well I'm gonna go Searing Doom twice. I just want to be able to spam Searing Doom. So he's got himself a Chaos Steed. So he's, he's been downgraded slightly. You know, ever so slightly. Uh, him being here is obviously going to annoy all the corn boys, but that's fine, okay? At some point, we just want to wind them up. We just want to get them more angry. Alright, it'll be fine. Uh, yes, and more Vaxel income sounds good too. And we can get an outpost again. Where are we going to put it? We did just give him Grontund. But we should probably put it in a capital, right? This is going to get destroyed before we get there. Almost oh, certainly. I do wonder if um, the Ecstatic Legion and Boris are going to team up to fight these guys. I mean, that's not actually Boris, but you know, Boris's faction. I wonder if they're going to team up. That would be very funny. Alright, moving on. Oh god. Boris is sending everyone. Is he coming up here, or is he going for our... Okay, he's just garrisoning. All right, they seem to be chilling. They seem to be chilling. I think they, yeah, they might be coming over here. They're going for our main territory. They might be going for some of the other folks around, but it looks like we need to get another army there early, just so we can defend. But it is nice that they're not going to the mountains. 
It'll give us time to get rid of the ecstatic legions. Okay, so this guy is going to come for us. So, Cracker Ornsmotek is probably going to get wiped out. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so this is the big moment of truth if this guy goes off to defend or if he pushes forward. Oh, good. It looks like he's going to go defend. Okay, that's great. Well, I mean, he's running off here somewhere. So I don't entirely know what he's doing, but it, it's fine. He's going the correct direction. Authority questioned. Oh, we can't have that. Unruly vassals have risen to question your might. Should you put on a demonstration of strength or challenge them directly? Uh, overpowering... Yeah, I'm going to go overpowering force. I want more vassal tribute. And, oh, Oleg is a supervisor. You move faster now. Subtle torture got destroyed. Damn it. Clan Mange. I like to think they're not Clan Mange at all. And they're actually um, the people who run pret a -Manger. And they're uh, they're French. Although I don't think pret a -Manger is anything to do with France, honestly. But anyway, um, yeah, they're Clan Mange. Infernal March. The Chaos Gods grow impatient. Lending a sliver of majesty, they enable their followers to march faster. Excellent. Yes. Uh, so Zazel's here. Uh, Pyrrhic victory? Fine. It's not going to be that big a battle. I'm just going to give it a miss. Uh, so we're going to occupy it. Defeat of the Zazel. Sure did. Uh, extra weapon strength for lords and embedded heroes. That's nice. And now, I'm going to give you Kazad uh, Dumond. And you can give me some money. Thank you. And now I can start pushing down this way. Got big replenishment, so we're fine, because we've got the ridiculous replenishment um, bonuses right now. Which is just marvellous, honestly. Uh, we're going to go monstrous strength with him, weren't we? Yeah, because we've got our trolls. Yeah, let's go with monstrous strength. Okay, we just want everyone to skip leg day, alright? Everyone's skipping leg day. It's all about how much you can lift. That's it. That's all that matters, now. How much can you lift? Ooh, hang on. Brutal Ritualist puts up corn corruption. Uh, spell resistance up for the army. An award save. I mean, that's pretty cool. Or oh, he gets the passive Hellblade. When he gets more than 80 kills, he keeps killing. I mean, that's quite good, but is he ever going to get that many kills, really? Probably not. I think it's going to be pretty slim that he gets to that. But the 10% um, weapon strength there is nice. I think we go with this one. I think spare everyone from the, the magics. Sounds good to me. Because it means we can land more spells on top of our own guys. Classic. Uh, I want to just spam spells. So I'm going to go with the cooldown. And again as Golden Hounds. Oh, so we get Chaos Wolf Rhyme. And a Discord Siege. Same as our other Chaos Sorcerer, it seems. Funnily enough. Yeah, Golden Hound sounds fine. I just want to get Final Transmutation. <coughs> Excuse me. And just drop that on every, like, fat blob of enemies. It's going to be great. Uh, so yeah, you can't go any faster. No matter what I do, I'll just leave you there. Now, let's see. Um, let's do the Siege thing, shall we? I think that's good. Let's do the siege thing. I want to get um, barriers, my aspiring champions, because I I just think that's really cool. I think that's really fun, really satisfying. Make the aspiring champions really feel like, you know, there's something a bit special, uh, rather than just like a decent unit. Just having a bunch of weird bells and whistles, it just makes them feel like they have earned a lot of gifts. And yeah, so this guy is headed to the monolith of Hargroth, so I don't actually have to care about taking that myself. So I can go straight to that. Uh, saying that, I probably shouldn't have been in March starts. But that should I, because it means I can't teleport to here now, can I? No. Yeah, I want the crown of domination. Also, we're running over here for seemingly no reason now, because that's been taken. So I guess we're just... We're just having a big war against these jerks. They have nine settlements. It's going to take a while. But I think... Having some Dark Elves on side would be pretty cool. So I'm going to vassalize them. They may only have like one 
you know, settlement. What are you guys doing? My fellow warlords converge. Do the Can I just threaten them? Come south? Can I just threaten them into becoming my vassal? The business. Where shall we raid next? The I... long ships are ready. I feel like I could. I feel like I could just threaten them. We might end up at war with them. Uh, so I'm going to wait a second, but I think that's what I'm going to do is my opening gambit against these guys. Because I'm certainly going to end up declaring war on them. But I think the fact that they like me, I think I can just threaten them. And they go, oh yeah, well fine. That's great. I, I would love to, actually. Alright, attack target. I want you to take that. Because that's one of your settlements anyway. Well, it should be. So that's perfect. And yeah, you can go to Iron Pelt Den and just work your way down. Work your way through. Strengthen our vassals as we go. And get a few more fortresses so we can get more income as well. Oh, I didn't make a new army over here. Whoops. I can recruit an army in a turn, so it's not the end of the world. Greetings. Your abasement pleases me. Hello, Nostradamus. Uh, let's, uh... He wants me to join war against the Brother of the Bear. Where did you even find them? Alright, sure, we'll be at war with them too. Let's be at war with everyone, it's fine. Things are going to get a bit crazy. Okay, Wintertooth have been destroyed. That's a shame. I would have liked to have, um, liked to vassalize them. All right, Hellspire tribe moving. The spirits of the forest grow restless and scouts report gatherings of hostile, oh no, hostile wood elves are resting in the glades all across the land. It could be best to prepare for the approaching conflict. The Great War. Yeah, that wasn't just like the wild hunt triggering that. It's the end game crisis are coming in 10 turns. Uh, all of them. Legions of Greenskins rallying throughout the old world, eager to prove which tribe is the best once and for all. Rumors are spreading that a great war is soon to occur. Calm before the storm. All is quiet today. There are absolutely no reports of enormous armies gathering in the ancient dwarf and underway. Such an organized force of Skaven would be preposterous, right? Corruption spreads. Dark magic gathers in the ancestral homelands of the vampires. Signs of life are disappearing without trace to the curse of undeath. Disgruntled dwarfs. Okay, now it's saying the end is nigh. Okay. Rumors are spreading through the land that the dwarfs started to mobilize. We're getting reports of old alliances breaking and clans turning on their neighbors. Use your time wisely to prepare. I do find it amusing that it's just like everything, including dwarfs. It's, it's odd. But um, hey, chaos reigns, okay? Chaos reigns. All right, let's just move in completely. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, little fella. Hello. Hello, Fidgeon. Oh, we startled him. Sorry, guys, we startled him. We'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to sneak up on him. Um, okay, what's next? We need to get another army. Because uh, this is getting busy. Hang on. You're going for him, are you? I feel like Boris might just intercept that guy. Uh, we also have this lad. You can you can go for Boris. You'll lose, probably. That's okay. Now, who do we want? Chaos Lord or Chaos Sorcerer Lord? Probably a Sorcerer Lord would be wiser. A Lord of Death, maybe? Lord of Death and uh, Nurgle is, is an interesting um, overlap. You know? Uh, well, I guess we use life and death and rebirth, you know, so... But... People tend to lean on the life bit, which I think is silly, because it really is the death and rebirth bit that is most important. You know, your life is the same as that of a, of a bug or a gnat, you know? So it's really your death and then the, the resulting rebirth that he cares about. Uh, third eye teach. I mean, a fire sorcery would be great, because fire sorcery is just, just marvelous. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's do that. Let's go go with this guy. And uh, do you want to devote another one to teach, though? You know what? I don't think we do. I think that's boring. This guy's got a burning body. Which sounds like fun. Let's, oh, do we want another metal? Let's go death. We haven't done that yet. We'll do undivided. Alright, we'll keep him undivided. Alright, Chaos Vanguard. Now, let's see. Wow, there's no Marauders in the Marauder Hole. We do have a couple of cannons, though. And with that defending, we are going to have an army, regardless. And we just recruited a bunch of units, it would seem. Uh, and we do have... We can get some more stuff from Karnath's Sons, but actually, I think that means I want to get it from here. 
ideally, you know, if at all possible. So let's move over here and we'll, ooh, hang on, nope, rank five, what rank do we need to be? Oh, no, we're good. Yeah, rank five is the rank we need to be at. So I can get some Chaos Warriors, finally. I can do... I need to do that first before I can get into Chaos Warriors dual weapons. Or do I? Can I recruit them to there and then do that? Probably. So let's go with uh, just Chaos Warriors. And then there we go. Then I can convert them to dual weapons. So there we are. That's fine. So that's nice. Out of that. Uh, I can turn them into Chaos Spawn. I'm not sure I want to. We still have a throwing axes, but we can turn them into Marauder Horsemasters, which actually have less armor piercing, which technically makes them worse, <laughs> but we can get them into Chaos Knights fairly soon. Um, or we could do throwing axes of corn and skip straight to Chaos Knights of corn. That feels more um, on brand. They're still throwing axes, so still got the armor piercing. But uh, they'll be better in melee because they've got the frenzy. And <laughs> everyone's got regeneration, which is just revolting. Oh, I love it. I really like this army. I really like this army. Oh, yeah, and I was going to get rid of someone so I can get uh, another corn boy. Which we may lose the ability to, that guy. Uh, where even am I? Allied recruitment. Oh, we can't from here. We can't from here. Can't even get anything from Clan Mange and we're in their territory. Sorry. Clan Mange, what I was talking about. Clan Monge. Um, could get the Knights of the Brazen Throne, though, couldn't I? Screw it, we're doing that. It's corn-themed. It'll do. It'll do. Uh, what about you? Let's get you some new toys. I mean, we can get you something from Karnath's Sons, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. We thought we'd go undivided with this guy. But everything in Regiment Renown is always themed. Because, obviously, marked things tend to be more powerful, so it just feels... Um, you know, it just, just makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, I don't know, maybe I won't bother with any of it then. Maybe I won't bother with any of it. I mean, some aspiring champions would be cool. So we'll have them. And, yeah, between this army and the, like, pretty powerful garrison, I think we'll be pretty safe. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right. And we got loads of backup on the way, too. All right. Uh, so, Oleg, we are pushing this way, but I actually want to do this final quest battle. I want to do the final quest battle. Uh, we just declared war on everyone, so I think we need to put the crown on. So we have the, uh, the sort of symbolic authority to keep our, you know, like weird confederacy going, right? So let's do it. So I should uh, read the thing first. The earth groans before the might of our Oleg, having gained the favour of all the chaos gods. He stands on the brink of destiny. The winds of magic howl from the uttermost north where the gates between worlds strain and then burst asunder, admitting a single diabolical form, a demonic champion. A lord of change comes to offer the final test to a man who would unite all the forces of chaos into an unholy horde bent on subjugating the entire mortal world. So the crown of domination. Uh, ancient battlehound dating back to the time of Morkar. It exudes an aura of raw malice to cow the servants of chaos. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's when he's crowned ever chosen. He's given the crown. That's the final thing that he's given. Um... I think. Although he needs four, right? He needs four relics for his crown. Because I know that Bellacor is the one who's forced to do it. Uh, which is hilarious. But I don't know if because this was written before Bellacor was in the game. They just went, oh, it's a lot of change. But I think you, I think there is a fight against Zinchi stuff. It's it's a bit sad, really. Because the I'm pretty sure a lot of what he ran up against was more themed. I can't entirely remember um, what the different sto you know, stories were, but I think they had to like genericize all of it just to fit the Warrior's Chaos DLC. But anyway, it's it's neither here nor there. Um, so here's a boy, but like it just it makes me think this guy should probably be, um, you know, someone else. Uh, in Tiro, chosen of Teach, because um, this is just the South Oriel model, you know. But no, maybe they did change it. 
I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to fight some stuff. It's going to be good. A lot of uh, Chaos Spawn. It's a lot of Chaos Spawn. It's basically it. It's a lot of Chaos Spawn. Should be fun, though. So, guys, we're going to play this next episode. I know. I know. I'm a tease. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and live!